Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel One to Step. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can log in into your ePayroll account. So for those people who do not know ePayroll, ePayroll basically manages payroll of your company. It helps you manage like your staff of your company by managing their workflow and other stuff, all right? So basically, if you want to know more features about ePayroll, you can go to its official website to know more about it. So there's a lot of facility which I didn't tell you in this video. So you can, you know, go to its website because this video is not on, you know, what is ePayroll. This is a video on how we guys can log in into ePayroll. So let me show you guys how we guys can do that. But before that, if you guys are new to our channel, want to step, then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to our YouTube channel with notification on. Let's move on. First step, you want to search for ePayroll. After you search for ePayroll, scroll a bit down over here. And once you see payroll service in California, ePayroll.com, you can click on it. It's going to take you to the official website of ePayroll. But if you search for ePayroll and no result of ePayroll comes up, you can straight up search for ePayroll.com. Once you search for ePayroll.com, it's going to take you to the official website, which is going to look like this. As you guys can see, ePay Payroll. Once you search for ePay Payroll and it's going to bring you over here, you can click on Login. It's going to take you to the login page. Once you're in its login page, you want to choose like which sector you want to log in into. So let's say I want to log in into employee sector. I'm going to scroll a bit down and click on timekeeping login. It's going to take me to the employee login sector. Now, once I'm over here, my login page will load up. Now, over here, I need to enter my user ID or my username. And over here, I need to enter the passport of my account. And over here, I need to enter my site ID. Now, this is optional. If you want to, you can. If you don't, you can leave it empty and click on where it says you know web clock and it's going to take you to the web clock but if you want to go to employee portal you can click on employee portal and if all the information entered is correct it's going to take you to the employee portal through which you can log in into you know employee account so this is going to help you guys to log in into your ePayroll account but from your ePayroll account you log in into employee account which is inside that ePayroll all right so don't get confused hope you guys understand this video just don't forget to hit the like and subscribe for channel one step see you guys next time bye bye